When it comes to running large language models on a laptop, Alama is probably my favorite tool. But whenever I wanted to use it in a Python application, I was also having to use a library like Light LLM. But from this week, that is no longer necessary because Alama have their own Python library. So let's come over to the terminal and you can see I've got my poetry dependency file here and you can see I've got Alama in there, but you can also do pip install Alama and it will do the same thing. Let's launch the IPython REPL and we're going to import Alama and then we're going to also be using the rich console. Now, if you want to pull down a model, you can do alarma.pull and pass in the name of the model that you want to get. So in this case, Mistral, and it will come back with a status. So if you've already got it, it will get the latest version. And if you don't have it, it's going to pull it down completely, uh, completely new. Once it's done that, we can then have a look at the model uh, using the alarma.show function. And so you can see it comes back here. We've got a license, so that takes up a lot of space. We come down to the bottom of the file. We've then got the model file. So that's kind of describing like metadata about the, the way the model is going to run, the system message, the parameters that make it stop and so on. We've then got a template. And then underneath you can see the details. So this in this case, it's saying the, the model is uh, 7 billion parameters and it indicates the quantization level as well. So let's come out of there. So as well as looking at an individual model, we can also see a list of all the models that we've got installed on our machine. So if we run that, you can see at the top, I've got the Buklava multi modal model, and then we can search for Mistral and you see we've got almost exactly the same information that we saw when we called the show function. Now we're going to have a look at how to use it. So I've created this little extension for IPython called time cell. So let's load that and it's just going to show us the time that it took to execute the code. So let's type in time cell at the top and then we're going to call alarma.chat. So we're going to be in chat mode. We'll tell it we want to use the Mistral model. And then the message is just going to be just a simple one. What is a large language model in three bullet points? We'll tell it to stream the output. Then we're going to iterate over the stream and print each chunk to the terminal. And you can see it comes back. It tells us a large language model is a type of artificial intelligence. It kind of talks about uh, some, some different parts of it. It talks about text generation. And you can see it takes just over three seconds to give the full output. Now let's have a look at a, another model. So I mentioned that we can do multimodal. So we're going to use the Lava model. So let's first import a function that will display images uh, on the terminal. I'll include all the code in the description. And we're going to get a file from my downloads folder. And let's just display it on the screen so you can see what it is. So you can see it's a nice colorful Llama. And then again, we're going to call, this time we're going to call the Llama generate. We're going to tell it to use the Lava model. We'll say, please, can you describe what's in this image? We'll pass it in the file path to the image. And internally, it's going to take care of a base 64 encoding this for us. And then we'll iterate over the, the stream and print out uh, the result. And you can see it comes back. Hey, you've got a colorful stuff, Llama in front of a pink background. And then it has a bunch of other information. And this took just over seven seconds to give us an answer. One of the other cool things about Alarma is that you can create your own models using a model file. So this lets you adjust the template, the system message, parameters. You can even create a model from a GGUF file, as I showed in the video that I'll link up here. So let's have a look at how to use that. So we're going to create a model file variable, and we're just going to do something simple. So we said we're going to base it on the Mistral model, uh, but we're just going to have a new one where the parameter temperature is set to 0.99. So that should give us like a more creative output. And then we're going to create a model. We'll call it creative Mistral, and then we pass in our model file. And then that will then come back with state of success once it's created. It should be fairly instant. Now let's go back and find that, that chat message, and we'll just change the model to be creative Mistral instead of Mistral. We'll come back down the end, and then let's run it. And you can see it then generates a response. To be honest, it doesn't look all that more creative uh, than the previous one, but you can also fiddle around with other parameters and see uh, how they uh, adjust the, the type of response you get. So now that you know how to use the Llama, you'll want to check out this video up here where I show how to build a chatbot with a Llama and another library called Chainlit.